scored over 1,400 points in his high school career at Holy Trinity out on Long Island. <laughs> and jamming it through is Omaruri. Middle this first half thanks to these very high percent. Letting them know what will happen if they don't start defending and practice the next couple As days. As a defensive coach, what stat do you think is going to frustrate him the most at halftime? Coming over with a block from Ori. Into Amori. Oh, he got hung on the rim. I I am shocked to be completely honest, Chris. I thought I'd never see that from Amori, but he's going to make up for it. He sure does. You know, he's the kind of guy that makes you better because of his energy. Now, granted, he's one of the quickest guys on the floor. He's going to create and he's going to score. But his energy is terrific. And Cliff Amori, goodness gracious, get that out. But he is usually a lot more aggressive. <laughs> Oh, speaking of aggressive, Young to Omori for the two-hand flush. A 10-0 Rutgers run. 23-13, Scarlet Knights on top of the road. Maybe Luka Garza. Here is Omori. Great pass over the top and a two-handed jam for Ron Harper Jr. Three-point looks and convert. The Scarlet Knights part of a 7-0 run going into that last timeout and on a run here and good body control. A new season high for the junior. 21. Baker. Great lob to Amorie. Wildcats with some reserves in there as well. Robbie Barron and Boo Booey coming in. The guys have started quite a bit this year as well. Okay, he's spinning through. Great feed to Amorie who throws it down. Giving him 12 solid minutes tonight. Hasn't scored much, just one to two from the floor. Here he is. <laughs> That's how you score, big fella. And how about this dunk? Just throwing it up, going to the top. Cut to the rim, the fine, but Wiggins can't convert. Here comes Rutgers trying to cut it to single digits. McConnell on the run. Lobs it inside, and a one-hand throwdown from Moriak. We gotta watch this one again, and we've gotta watch it because it's a Big Ten standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Up and down. All you do is simply drive the basket, and Morier decides he's gonna put it through the back. My goodness, you shouldn't be allowed to do that, but it's amazing as a big. If you just run to the front of the rim, good things happen. Rebound, McConnell. Young, leaving it. The finger roll is there, Amorie with one more at the line. Who, because of his ability to stretch you out from three, they close out, but it's not under control. The three pinballs out, offensive rebound, and a hammer from Amorie. Rutgers starting two and six from the floor, Indiana five and nine. There's a high percentage Woo! shot from Cliff Amorie. Nice job by Baker of maintaining his composure. He just cocks this. Ooh, that was nice. And I love it. Brad Underwood is clapping for his son. How good is that? Huge smile on the face of the head coach as Amorie hits a three his first of the year. And if you're Lehigh, now you have to start thinking about if you want a foul here. It might be too early to do so. Baker up top. Amorie! Print the poster! How what? about this alley-oop? And it couldn't have come at a better time. They've tried to find Omorie at different times in the second half. It didn't quite work out. Baker, though, with a great lob. That might just be the play of the day. Watkins blocked by Harper. Baker the lob. Oh, Omorie with his back to the rim. Here's another look. Watch this. Unbelievable. To be able to see the rim over your shoulder. It was, it, it, was even, it was even set. And somehow was still able to throw that down. And only a six point lead now for the Scarlet Knights. Yeah, One of those momentum swingers. Underline that. Six point difference. How about Rutgers answering on the other end with a big cliff? That's for sure. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Good job of controlling his body. Throws it down. That's the sound of <laughs> But you need guys like Paul Mulcahy to step up. Caleb McConnell. Again, those are the guys that. Once again, Amorie does good work defensively, getting the stop and not committing a foul. Amorie flying in. Clear the runway for Big Cliff. And then watch this find in transition. 
jumped from about the foul line there. Having fans back, we're going to get used to it again at some point, and I, I feel like... Uh-oh, Harper up top, on the road to flush, and they're losing their minds in Piscataway. Okay, he got all the way to the basket. Oh, my goodness. Amori just stretched out. Both teams shooting it pretty well. Rutgers over 50%. Purdue 46%. Inside Harper with great position. All of a sudden, they are making everything. It started with the post up. Ron Harper Jr. Six and a half to go. Entry pass to Amori. Backing in against Samuel. Turns, puts it up. As tied a season high, he is now fifth all-time in Rutgers history and made threes. Mulcahy, also with three, makes for beyond the arc. That's what he's known for! And the one-handed flush. Five-star athleticism, no-looker, smashes it, the, the hammer. Mm. Really is a boost for this starting lineup in big moments, too. He's a guy that you can put the ball in his hand. Caleb McDonald, up. nice feed off the ball screen, and Amori, that left arm just kind of kept going. Such a quick jumper, and how about this feed here? He could see Trent McLaughlin just kind of... Springs around and out, and that was the primary theme of the first half, these last couple of possessions. Feed it down low, then at the other end, good defense. They go back down low once again, and Amori flushes it this time. Bill was not, here's another look at the jam. Ian Christian, uh, a second too late there on the help side. You see the feet over the top. And... Inside. Look at the length. Big stretch Armstrong out here. He's so far away from the rim, but he's got the mismatch. He buries Caleb Houston. Urge takes it inside, gets rejected. Stuffed by Amori. Great defense by Mori right there. Crafty footwork, being able to go up and under under Mori's arm and get a basket. He's averaging a double double. And on the other side, the big fella, Cliff Mori for the slam. You know, not allowing the defense to dictate to him where he should shoot from. Shows the double, but a good nice find run. underneath to Amori. Good look for Baker. Everybody just assumed the defense was going to be ready to go because Steve Michael's the coach. That's two looks now. The Paul Mulcahy. Oh, my. Wow. Amori exploding to the rim. Rutgers making a concerted effort to get into this painted area. Paul Mulcahy can't get it to go. Give it to Cliff Amori, who goes up there and absolutely hammers this one. Flex action, but like they've been doing lately, Rutgers just ruins everybody's actions. Okay, he to Amori and slams it down. Two-man game. That size and wingspan from Amori. Well, like you said, it's the crowd, the activity, and the way this arena's configured. And right off the bat, it's Amori. Extraordinary confidence. And here on the opening tip, Amori sends a message. Webster staying out there with those two fouls. Turns the corner inside, thrown out of bounds by Amori. 16-point lead for the Wildcats, the largest in any conference game this year. Amori, though, gets an authoritative two. They get it to Mulcahy. He's been the best player on the floor. Mulcahy on that, hanging inside Amori, who throws it down, and we are tied at 70. You look at the drive here, Pete Nance comes, and again, you know, if you're roping, you've got to go with Amori there, knowing that that's the switch, you've got to stay connected, you can't let him get below you in that situation. Give it back, and it'll be a flush. That was well done. The finish did a great job. Against Maryland, 14.7 rebounds, doing work there. With the flex after the made basket. Baker leaves it for Amori. That was so good by Geo Baker. Chicago is coming up next. Wisconsin has shown that double team, no matter who has gotten the touch in the post. And Mag gets another offensive rebound and another opportunity here for the Scarlet Knights. Shovel pass, Amori with the flush. Ron Harper just getting to the basket easily, but it's got to finish. Amori kept it alive. Oh. Okay, he's speaking of great passes, finding Amori. Well, he 
was in it for the long run. He was here during the lean years, and he knows what it's like to lose, and he knows what it's like to win championships. And Matt Painter explores those catches for Edie as we see it. Oh, oh, oh my oh. goodness! Posterized to Edie. Cliff Amore. Wow. A little bit of reverence. What a pass by McConnell. And finish by the big fella. I plan on standing tonight. And off we go. The officials, DJ Karstensen, Edwin Young, Lou Garrison, and a oh. quick lob, and what a start up top to Cliff Amore. Giving Wisconsin a little bit more depth. Suspended for that game. Amore able to get the roll. There have been too many rolls so far for Rutgers. Harper thought about it. Lobs it up oh, top, my goodness. goodness. Cliff Amore is just unbelievable That's around the rim. Amore. we got to see that dunk again. Well, if the help comes over, I mean, this pass is thrown right at the rim, and I'm not sure that that video does it justice from what it looked like courtside. I mean, he just caught that and all in one motion, catches it with that big right hand and just throws it. Attacking when it's open, but wisely moving it on to the next guy when it's not. Okay, he bleeding in. Expression from the big man. Flight number 24 coming at you. And this is ridiculous. Dunk of the year, possibly? Um, yeah, with that size, Steve Michael will tell you he can guard all five spots on the floor. Yep. So versatile. That's right. Nice feed from him. Oh. Gets it down to Amori. It goes McConnell to Harper to Amori for two. Look at this, Kevin. Look at this ball pressure by Iowa. And look at how they dissect it and end up with a secure the board. So that's going to be something this team really has to focus on as the season goes on. Who can else? Who else can do that? Can he? Yes, he can. Spencer's been involved in that. How about Big Cliff Amori from downtown? Five other guys have scored as well. Amori feeding Wolfolk back for Amori, who jams it. This first half, let's take a look at this again. Great feed inside, great cut off the Brooks miss. Spencer pushes ahead. And Koulibaly has handled playing against Cliff well with one foul. And one. Cliff Amori not phased by a little bump. Well, it's just good dribble penetration. Koulibaly stepping up. I think in that case, Vanderbilt, who just beat a team from Philadelphia. Their opponent. <laughs> Come on, that so strong and, and a little bit of frustration on this one. It is ability. The and Rutgers has been getting to the free throw line left and right. They're going to take 20 free throws here in the first half. Amore! He didn't even have his feet under him when he took off. Talk about Dean Reber, see him driving the lane. But look at this extension, Stretch Armstrong. You talk about that mixed with one of the quickest jumpers in all of college basketball. And boy, you are bound to be on a. Well, one, one out of two at the line there for Amori, who goes to chase that down and steals it away. Amori, like a cornerback. Spencer trying to polish it off, and he does. Jackson Davis, good pass. Rejected by Amore. They certainly took quite the punch, and they got right back in this game. 9-0 run, made five of their last seven field goals. That's a pretty high percentage field goal right there. Amore, the 6'11 junior from Nigeria out of Roselle Catholic High School. Jackson just committed his third foul. Yeah, the reaction defensively, especially like right there, that's a pretty good effort by Mag again, cut through the middle of the floor. Weak side a little late that time. Sometimes what you have to do to erase the bad memories, immediately jump back into it. Tied it in the corner. Amori puts it up, puts it in, and he gets another chance at the free throw line. To just lock in on what you need to do 
in the student component or in the athlete component of being a student athlete. Yeah, that's not the young guys. That's the older guys, Mulcahy to Amori. Which started on the opening tip with a quick start. Boy, have we seen this before. Excellent back screen by Mawat Mag. Toss out to Spencer. Quick shot from three again. Cam Spencer has his fourth. So he trusts a guy who's been around a long time in college hoops. He's got four. Meanwhile, here's Andy with three fouls. They double the post. Great pass out of it to find the lot man. Scott and Young early in the second half, putting that first half behind them. Great play, another good pass. Omori with the block on Rabracha. Volkehi drags it inside. Omori the follow-up. A whistle happened underneath the basket. Here gets to Paul. Bag open baseline, leaves it for him, Maury, great pass. It'll count. And the best finisher around the rim of the Big Ten. Maury, a quiet two game. Yeah, you asked him at shooter on today, what's it like to play Ohio State? He said, like a football team. Nice move. Ooh, coming over, Maury sends it back the other way. Can Rutgers make shots early? Offensively, they struggled that time, and I love that play. Right on point. And that's tough to come off the bench and try to shoot a three your first shot when you're not loose, you're not warm. And I know that's what Penn State does, but that's still difficult. A more encounter and an opportunity at the free throw line to add one more. Just got off to the really good start, but they've tight since then. Dean Reber into the game for Rutgers. Now a Mori down low gets the roll. Seals and then finishes through the contact. Of Sanford. Absolutely. Timing and uh, nonverbal communication. Understanding exactly what the other is going to do. And again, you talk about effort. Here he goes again. This one, he'll kick the bucket, but that's not going on the poster. Shot clock under 10 almost every trip. A more with the flush. I love the way they lead it towards the basket, towards the baseline side. Time out. So here's that lead pass going right towards the basket. All you have to do. Here's Amori throws down a dunk. Spencer transition three short. Amori keeps it alive. Dunk! The athleticism from Cliff Amori. Lawrence swatted out of there by Amori. Wall backing his way in. McKee out of the corner. Not there. Great offensive board, but an even better block by Amori. Great reaction by Big Cliff there. Tremendous basketball transfer from Loyola. Baker to the rim, and it's blocked away. Ball on the ground, and we got a tie up. I mean, if I told you coming into the game that Funk and Lundy would be one of ten from three, like we did our job. Exactly. No to Amori. The unstoppable play if he can get space inside. Now Rutgers exploding out of the gates in the second half. In a game that really they need to win in the Big Ten standings. Amori goes to work with some pretty footwork. See the dump down here. He takes his time. Spin move up and under. Cliff Amori, 67 dunks now on the season. Oh. And a rejection on the other end. Out of bounds, and that went off of Audige. It belongs to the Scarlet Knights. To start this game, Cliff Amori. 7 nothing Rutgers run. Dickinson. Blocked oh, by Amori. And then what a save. How did he keep that in play? Pop him a little bit. He gave some back that time. And Lawyer has it taken away by Mulcahy. He's got to feel like there's about seven Rutgers players on the court right now. Amori inside with a reverse one-hand flush. Well, Cliff Amori really making his presence felt early. That I don't know that I've seen that in college basketball. Maybe not so much incremental leaps, and so there's going to be a lot of expectation on some of these younger guys. I guess that includes the leap from high school to your freshman year. Inside! Back-to-back jams for Wolfgang. Looking for the open man. Hyatt. Amori goes over everybody. Woo! He 
heels out of bounds. Another look at a common sight around these parts. Cliff Amore jamming it down. One of the nation leaders in dunks a season ago. Amore. Look, Faust. Georgetown goes and they don't get back. Oh my goodness. Wow. So much for man to man. Only one season healthy though. Sat out another year with a back surgery. Amori gained the positioning and won. Uh, because he is a capable three-point shooter, he's their most mobile big. I think St. Peter's has, has uh, just not put that concept into play tonight. A woeful globbed it for Amori. And he did not get hurt here. Watch him get undercut a little bit. And I loved Andy Katz's interview with Boo after the overtime win. Shot too strong. Amori cleans it up. It'll count. And a foul. That's the perfect time to break somebody down, and you'll get shots constantly off the dribble if it has a purpose to it. Amori with Hutchins Everett guarding him. There's the All Big Ten performer. See the shoot if you're in the, in the stand. <laughs> See the setup right there, and he. Goes. And Fernandes will slow it. In for Cliff Amori, MVP of the Garden State Hardwood Classic. What a move! Like a guard on the baseline. But Amori taking him baseline, using the right hand on He had to learn his game and learn how to implement him into his system to have success. So still filling it out, but with conference play looming, you got to get it right quickly. Belzer with the hesitation, and this time Amori. Off the deflection, now Thornton. Lobs it up, set key. Oh, great play by Simpson to knock down one free. Aggressive defense so far. That's a great decision by Simpson. Ricky wants a clear out. He's like, I got the freshman. Oh, Amori. Whoa. Mag stops, waits for reinforcements, and it's back to five on five with five and a half to play in this first half. Lob it up. Oh, Amori slams it home. Opponents this year only losses to Auburn and Nebraska, but right now Rutgers doing it as they have all year, getting it to Big Cliff. Yeah, Peyton Sparks was just kind of in no man. Shot clock at four. Hogarth swatted away by Amori Sissoko. Got it off the glass. And Amori the rebound. And Rutgers on the break. Davis lays it in. Don't settle for a tough three. Move it side to side. Let everybody touch it and attack. Oh, and I mm. set down the first one. Amori came over with his second block of the night. Down inside, there's Amori. Boy, good sign oh, early man. that he is hanging on a rim here in Champaign. Boy, one coverage against Coleman Hawkins. This was two of two to open the second half. Simpson on a blow by, runs into the roadblock. Omori going reversal past DD. You're seeing from Penn State why they lead the conference in turnover margin, and there, there's understanding a mismatch on the block one on one when that double team isn't forthcoming. But a minute to go. They'll try to get ahead in the spot that Rutgers is 9 0, chasing seven. Amori was open, and he slams it on Burnett. Bully comes out, Amori back in. Williams lobs it, Amori catches, resets, scores, and a foul. But again, the surprise tonight because Justin Mullins had played 21 minutes all year, but he did start 27 games last year. Amori stuffs it and is fouled. Only the foul, Amori will be at the line with a chance to tie when we come. They've been in every game. Three seconds. Last couple of minutes in the loop. <laughs> Kevin Griffiths. Into the corner, high for three. That banked. Not in though. Amore, the offensive putback counted. Those hustle stats, they, they add up. And I feel like Kevin Willard is a big hustle stat believer. That's a nice finish for Cliff Amore. He takes the elevator to the top floor. 
Julian Reese not matching his physicality. Much better pass 